there's the line out. Ger McFarlane, Atkins in for Michael, dropped for his late attendance at training. Grounds, Gardner, Eden, Hastings, Captain, Tobin, Regan, Barkley, Ailiff, Masterman, and Arba. Laurie Fryer in charge of the Eastern Suburbs side this year. A very impressive record in the lower grades that he's coached. And so the Eagles, who undoubtedly would remember their last visit here. They went home rather embarrassed, I think, on that particular occasion. Here's their team that's been chopped around a bit. Edie Rebo, Bostead, Close Cleal, Sigsworth, Thompson, half and captain. McKay, Boyd, Vorton, Brown, Krillich and Gerard. And the match that uh, Fulton's got mainly fired up after they've been stung by that upset at uh, Penrith Park last weekend. Bostead coming around his 5'8", who took the front line of uh, defence before giving it to him. McCabe, a short ball for Chris Close, who'll be hard to stop. But that's a good tackle, Marty Gurr. That's a good tackle. Extreme pressure, eight metres out. Sigsworth just stepping off that left foot back into the defence. Still about eight metres away from the try line. They've got it in their sights mainly. Gerard to Vorton. Vorton is very close to the line. Only a matter of a metre. Krillich delivering it to the right behind Gerard. Thompson's pass has gone to ground. And Boyd it is who's got possession free side. Sigsworth, the chip. Girl have to hurry. Sigsworth in. Oh, hell. Smart that was from Sigsworth. So here's Edie now with the breeze at his back, retaliating to the kickoff. And it's a big torpedo punt, which Gurr has played at the ball. So now the players can come inside the five. But hello. In the back play. An East player is unconscious. It's Terry Regan. Whoa. Can we... Grillich to the blind side. A switch from that side to the open for Sigsworth. Ball was passed to him by Thompson. So Vorton comes up and takes it. Inside the 22, he runs. He's got a pass down for Thompson. Good pass by Paul Vorton. Brown's making the tackle, but Manley are coming on for another try. Oh, Boyd! Boyd off Krillich! And they just opened up. Tackled on the 22. Krillich. Sigsworth on the last. And Gurr has a fairly long run in front of him. Back five metres out from his line. Sigsworth was the kicker, so they're all onside now. Gurr. Gurr still going. Outside 32. He's uh, eight metres short of halfway. Good run. Taken about 30 metres out. And this Gerard. Picking up Boyd, sending the international into a big gap. Playing a very important role is Boyd. Thompson. That's Edie. That's a good pass down to Vorton, but East aren't putting them down. Vorton picks up McCabe. There could be a try coming. Here's Rebo, placed by Atkins, and he's in the touch. That's the first chink in the arm that we've really seen today. Eastern Suburbs opened up. He did well. Hastings getting some three metres up the centre. And a penalty to East. You can see him, he's with the trainer that's wearing the, the headset. And uh, that man will be giving his final instructions from Bobby Fulton to Michael Blake. Krillich. Oh, straight through. Over the halfway. Pass has gone behind Borton. And Peter Grounds has it for East. And McCabe is tackled, 32 metres out. Boyd. Turns it back, picks up Rebo. Got a pass down to Krillich. They're promoting something as a booted through by Thompson. But East player injured. Let's play on. And Thompson, he's going to score if he gets there in time. Too late. Some of those players look to me as though they uh, 
thought the match was to be pulled up. But... Hastings, Ayla, Tobin, and Dave Brown. Now exchanging blows. And Arbor and uh, one of his uh, opponents have decided that they can't sort it out with words, so they've decided to let go. McCabe, Sigsworth, with a heavy shoulder charge there by Regan. This is McCabe. Horton. Good tackle by Hastings. Krillich. Sigsworth. Boyd. Edie's coming up on his inside. Here's Edie. Back to Boyd. Flick past the Rebo. This has looked good, hasn't it? Nice work between... Thompson. Long ball for McCabe. Michael Blake. Michael Blake. Caught from behind by McFarlane. With the game starting to open up now, both sides have run themselves ragged. Sigsworth. Oh, there's a chance for Manley here if they keep spinning it to the left. Rebo. Rebo. Away from Barclay. Into the clear goes Rebo. Gurr chases, but in vain. And he's ruled. It's a try. A try. Took the corner flag. I wasn't sure. Right, we go wider now to show you how this play develops. Azidi now. Gerard got that ball down to uh, Ian Thompson, then to Max Krillich. Have a look at him go. Go on, Maxine. <laughs> Put the last nail in the coffin. Very dangerous practice. Gurr, this is the last tackle too. He'll chase. Edie. Safe as a bank. Bostead will go for a long run here, I think. Here he goes, Bostead. Bowie, he's gone over the halfway. And it's a good run, and uh, Chris Close was just a fraction late in arriving. Manley with a quick play of the ball. Krillich ducks off into centre ground. Picks up number 15, that's Atkins for Manley. If Manley moves the ball out wide here, beast to stretch right to the limit. Where, to the left? Out to the left. Right, here it goes, Thompson. But no, Boyd has punctuated what probably should have been a quick... It's Passing still on. Raid. Still on out on that left hand side. Rebo's completely unmarked. Right. So Gerard picks up Krillich. Hello, Max is going to start kicking too. But he failed to make contact with the ball. And Gurr comes away with it. Oh, don't tell me Max has hurt his knee too. He has. He's down injured. As East go to the attack. And uh, they put it down. Rebo's got it. And it'll be play on. Chris Krillich is coming back, but he clutched at that knee. And I thought, oh, gee, don't tell me he's done it again. Mike Eden's down on the ground injured too. He's been there for some time. Action all over the ground here, or should I say incidents all over the place. Sigsworth. Joy through a big dummy. There should be a try on for McGillah Thompson. There is. They've all got to go over and score. A try that they, I would think for McGillah Thompson has been a long time between drinks. Stop trying. No. Last tackle coming up for the Roosters from City Ford Country. Eaton. Oh, he's got a re... Yes, he's got it. Regathered. He's done it again. Well, wouldn't that have been some kind of a try? That would have come off. Penalty against the ED for a late tackle. This is the tenth penalty in the second half to East. Manly haven't got one. Is Mike Eaton... Do we see two or just one? Yeah, he took it back in on the full, and then he says, I'll have another go. Thought it might have been wiser to turn the ball back inside, then he had support trailing. Easter on the attack. Three metres out, and Regan's gone without it, but I can't blame him too much. He got a nasty ball, a low one. That was offside against him. Manly getting the first penalty, according to my reckoning anyway, of the second half. Sure, Bozo 
Bobby Fulton will be concerned with that. Not as concerned as Laurie Fire would with a side that won the penalty so convincingly in the second half, but yet they couldn't come up with a try. Yeah, good comment, Graham. Here's Reba. And there's the siren. It's all over at the uh, Sydney Sports Ground. So the final score line, 22 points to eight in favor of the Manly Sea Eagles. They're back in the winner's circle after a shock loss to Penrith last Sunday. Scrums 9-8 to East. And have a look at this penalty count. 17 to 9 to Eastern Suburbs. And so the man of the match will be carried out in the dressing room shortly by Graham Hughes. And we'll have his after match comments from Billy Anderson. Well, a game marred by numerous handling errors today. But a player that we couldn't find fault with was our man of the match, the manly second row, Paul Horden. Paul, congratulations. Thanks very much, Brad. There, there was a frantic pace there in that first half, although it started to tell in the second half and Manly stormed home. It was a very hot day, actually, out there, and uh, we did make a lot of handling errors, but, uh, and Bozo was very critical of us at half-time, and he told us to, if we could hang on to the ball, then we win. Was it the heat and, uh, say, that pace of the first half that caused all those handling errors? I'd say it was, yeah, but uh, just one of those days where we couldn't hang on to it. Manly, of course, have now proved that form, uh, the losing form against Penrith, all wrong. Well, I reckon we can't play in the wet, and it looks as though it's true. <laughs> Paul, I know you're tired for all those aching bones. $800 worth of product from Rank Arena, as well as access to over 300 movies in the Electronic Thanks Rentals Library. Congratulations, Thanks. Paul. Well, a good Manly win today, and with me is Manly coach Bob Fulton. Is there anyone in particular that pleased you today more than, more than oh, say, yes. other players? I'm one not to individualise, but I suppose on today's performance, I'd have to look at uh, Paul Horton and uh, Phil Sigsworth, who both had outstanding games. Sigsworth's been a great acquisition for you. He can play full-back, 5'8", centre, and he could even fill in at half-back or log if you needed him. He can play him. anywhere. I reckon he'd play hooker. Thanks very much, Bob, and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much, Bill. So Bobby Fulton there, interviewed by Bill Anderson, and of course our man of the match, Paul Horton, by Graham Hughes. Let's have a look at the full list of weekend results for you now. From yesterday, Canterbury defeating Balmain 18-14, Canberra defeating Wests 30-22. Then today, St George 26, Illawarra 12, Parramatta 24, Souths 14, Cronulla 26, Newtown 24, Norths 40, Penrith 18, and Manly here winning by 22 points to 8. The league ladder for you reads like that. Parramatta unbeaten on 10, ahead of Balmain, Manly and Saints, all on 8. Then it's East Penrith and Cronulla on 6. Canterbury, Canberra, Norths on 4. Newtown 3, South 2, West 1 and Illawarra yet to score. Now next weekend, the league will be played over the three days of the Easter weekend. The Saturday, Sunday and Monday, to the best of my knowledge. And there are the matches. Penrith Easts, Manly Balmain, Canterbury St George, Illawarra.